Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome to a brand new year of Utah Cross. It is now 2022. While wow, you guys are watching this, it's already past midnight in Japan, and well, technically within my country by the time this video goes up online. Anyways, Ake Mashte Omedeto Gozaimas. Kyonen mo yoroshiku onoigashimas, especially to all my Japanese fans, and of course. All the English speaking friends, international friends out there who can understand me in English or, well, technically in Japanese if you can understand the greeting just now. <laughs> I look forward to, you know, uh, doing well with you again on the channel and of course on Instagram if you are following me there. Um, so, yes, we've got lots to talk about since it's the brand new year. It means that a lot of things have been unlocked, especially for those of you who have um, actually watched my January event um, review. So, basically, we'll talk about whatever that has been mentioned briefly in Dana's um, you know, loading screen, and now it has been fully unlocked for our you know, pleasure to toss our money in and of course to fund Macross through Uta Macross <laughs> Alright, so we've got lots to talk about so let's not dilly-dally any further um, First thing first, I'm sure when you log in the game during the midnight refresh of Uta Macross you probably notice this particular um, banner pop up I'm sure the rest of the other stuff that pop up you probably get the gist of it uh, if not, we'll talk about it individually later on but we'll talk about this one first so first thing first is this particular banner if you guys don't re understand Japanese that's what I'm here for you guys so basically what it means is if you go into the live tab and if you go into the event section you'll notice that all six event songs that give resources for episode plates um, upgrading has been released for play and the amount of times that you can play is 999 times. <laughs> yes, that's basically what the banner means. So during the whole month of January from now to the 30th of January, I think January has 30 days if I'm not wrong according to the banner, um, basically you can keep playing all these songs as much as you want basically up to 999 times. And don't forget since it is the currently uh, current ticketing event, um, beginning event of the month, you can use these event songs to get your event tickets to play the event songs as well. So yeah, why not gain resources to power up the brand new episode plates that you are about to get because of the free template pool gachas and of course your own personal pools from the featured gachas and all that kind of stuff. Don't mind me, I'm scrolling through the songs because I do not want to get copyright strike from the songs being played here. So that's what I have to say about these uh, event songs right now. So make use of them to gain the resources from the white ones which are very hard to come by, especially if you have a lot of episode plates to fully power up. Uh, and of course the other colors from the pink, yellow, green, blue, uh, yeah. And of course, the currency, especially for new players, I think a lot of new players are short on cash, but for us veteran players, as you can tell from my cash amount, I have too much. <laughs> because I keep selling off extra resources, and um, yeah, basically that's how I get that much money. But I understand the pain of new players not having enough currency to power up your episode plates, especially um, when you have so many free episode plates being given out right now. <laughs> so let's get out of this song tab because I don't want my video to be copyright strike. So we've got a few more things to explain. Alright, so secondly is the discounted packs. We have now gone into phase 2. So for those of you who missed out on phase 1, sadly to say you've missed out the first batch of discounted plates with uh, uh, you know, discounted stones uh, that actually come with the um, Nyan Kuji tickets. So now it's round two, and it seems like there is only. Oh! Oh, there is two sets of uh, discounted packs that come with the Nyan Kuji tickets. It seems there's fireworks going on. <laughs> Apparently, I. Apparently there is fireworks this year. I thought the government announced that they are cancelling fireworks. Oh well. Anyways, 
uh, it's fine. I'm here with you guys to celebrate the new year because we need to talk about all of these things, which is pretty important. Uh, especially if you don't want to mess things up since it is the new year after all. <laughs> Alright, so it seems like this special discounted pack at 12,000 yen um, comes with 3,300 singing stones and of course 3,300 seasonal spheres with 250 Nyan Kuji tickets. So for 2,000 yen extra, basically you get a whole lot more 3300 oh my goodness that's a lot more compared to the 2400 we're getting for my 10,000 yen oh dang i think i probably end up buying this one so yes guys if you can actually afford it if you can buy three times the discounted packs two packs of 10,000 yen and that means if you actually bought round one um with the nyankuji tickets uh, i did well uh <laughs> I'm squeezing out cash from my reserves <laughs> just to do this video. <laughs> so guys, I appreciate your support really. Because um, yes, as you know, I'm not able to earn anything from YouTube yet. So with your continuous support, you know, sub make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below, that kind of stuff. It helps the channel grow and I really appreciate uh, all of you guys doing that. Especially the last video. Apparently the January review video uh, actually did a lot better than any other month out there. <laughs> so from the likes on the video, I, I can tell that you guys, um, you know, are especially new players out there who are brand new to the game, watching the content, you know, and a lot of you have actually been appreciative with, of all my content. So I really appreciate you guys, you know, uh, seeking out my help, watching my content, making my channel grow, that kind of stuff. It it really means a lot to me, seriously. Um, so yeah, so if you guys can actually fork out the money um, from all your New Year, um, I guess, money packs, if you ever celebrate the New Year this way, like the Japanese do, the Chinese do, that kind of stuff, um, you know, certain... certain um, Ethnicy, uh, what ethnic groups actually um, celebrate New Year's by giving out New Year's money, that kind of stuff. So if you do celebrate it like that and you have some spare New Year's money lying around, you can actually use it to maybe buy the discounted packs if Putam Across is the thing that you want to finance and you know improve your game or you know have fun with it because you don't really need to buy anything else. I don't know. Maybe you have something else more important than Utah Macross, you know, but, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you can afford to, it's a total of 3,200 yen. That's a lot of money. In my currency, it's almost close to $400. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of cash. Uh, <laughs> anyways, like I said, if you can afford it, please, please do not pressure yourself to toss in the cash if you can't. You know, so, anyways, uh, enough said about the discounted pack. I've helped Dina promote the game more than enough. All right, so we have to talk about the Nyan Kuji event page now because uh, in the last video, I didn't mention about the special ticket that's actually given out with the Nyan Kuji box. So as you can tell. Uh, the tabs that have been shaded have now finally been reviewed. So I don't have to go through any of these, right? Because I've already gone through in that video. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please go check out the other video. So we're going to go into the Kuji box tab. Um, oops. The, oh, so yeah, these are the New Year packs or the New Year packs. Yeah, New Year packs, um, missions. And then you can tell that I've already cleared a lot of them. So apparently it's because I've been playing the event songs. So I'll go through these missions first before we dive into anything else. So as you can tell this one, it requires you to score at least uh, 1 million and above um, for a soul song. So score 1 million and above you know, for a soul song, blue color series song. And of course um, for all the blue series songs, as you can see it goes up to 2 million. I think it goes even higher. Let's let's see what is the highest amount. So so yep, four million. Seems it seems 
4 million is the highest requirement. I think the rest of the series as well. So we got the star, which is the yellow one, uh, also at 4 million. Then the pink one is also at 4 million. Then there is the others, which requires you to do full combos. So full combos, you need to do a total of 50 times. That's a lot. Um, so make sure you play the difficulty that you can handle, especially if you want a full combo. Then of course, um, there is the double S ranking for any song. So that's not too difficult. So eventually you'll clear this. So the max amount you need to do is 100 times. Then of course, there's this one which is difficulty hard and above. I wonder if there's extreme. Let's see, let's scroll down. So there is very hard. And there is extreme. So extreme requires you to max out a total of 20 times the most. So basically, let's just put it simply. Um, do a full combo on an extreme song 20 times. Because um, apparently there is a full combo as well. So there it is. Let, let's see. Extreme, full combo. Oh, 15 times. They're being very generous. So full combo, they're asking... A total amount of 15 clears that's it so the rest should be easily gotten if you can actually full combo extreme songs so yeah go ahead full combo extreme songs with all the colors uh, we've got blue yellow and pink which is the soul series star series and the love series so that pretty much covers all the new year's packet missions um, You've got basically from today, which is the 1st of January, to the 15th of January to clear it. There are, don't, there are no daily missions on this one, so... Yeah. I think they will be round 2. Maybe. Because it's only half a month. So maybe from 16th to the end of the month, they might have a second round of missions. So if they do, definitely I will update you guys on it. But for now, that's pretty much it. So let's dive into the Nyan Kuji box page. And here we have the image of the uh, exclusive Nyan Kuji uh, episode plate. So let's boost the rare up. Oh, so the pre-evolution shows Cheryl, Basara and Kaname pounding some New Year's mochi. Um, so if you don't know what mochi is, it's basically rice cake. So as you can tell, as usual, the episode plate is able to be used by all divas so let's power up the episode plate to its plus 25 luck value at level 90 so it comes at 3869 total score at the plus 25 luck value so that's pretty decent considering that it is a event episode plate and it's kind of free so um with the amount of free Nyan Koji tickets you get from clearing the missions every day, hopefully you guys have been clearing it. If you have no idea what to do with the missions, please go check out the last video that I did, the January update video. It, I did mention all the missions that you need to clear. Even up to this day, um, the missions are still going on and the daily missions are there. So make sure you clear them, um, especially all the three different colors that you need to play because it is very important mainly because the event that's currently going on only provides blue and pink so if you want yellow songs I guess the event song that give resources that's probably where you're gonna get your yellow song um, clear for those missions because why not use them play the yellow songs to gain your event tickets and gain resources as well plus clearing those event missions you know, it's good. It it's killing two birds with one stone. Basically, it's three birds with one stone. Basically, okay. Enough of killing animals. Anyways, uh, let's talk about this episode plate again because I, you know, it's good to refresh whether you want to um, really work hard to gain those Nyan Koji tickets to gain this episode plate and maybe use the rare up star to evolve the plate since you are free to play player. You may not have the amount of Nyan Koji tickets to pull out the second copy um, you know and you might have to sacrifice your rare star so it does have a balanced stat on all three stats but it's just that voice takes the cake um, set the skill the star song total up so um, when you play 
Star Series songs, or with this episode played, sadly to say, the current event doesn't have any Star Series songs <laughs> to fully utilize this plate, but it's okay. Maybe the upcoming events there will be yellow CV songs that can make use of this plate, so don't worry about that. So, um, units total is boosted 25% up when it's played on a Star Series song. That's pretty okay, it's not the best percentage. Life recovery at 30%. Once again, it doesn't seem like this episode plate is meant to be used in the center position. Life skill, combo bonus, so this is pretty decent. Sadly to say, it is a life skill that is not in the short or long series side of things, so you can't use episode plates with um, improvements for short or long duration skills. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's okay. So apparently this one only activates um, at the start of Cho Utahime mode, um, which is after the Valkyrie attack phase. So if you activate the Cho Utahime mode, this life skill will come into effect. So uh, for 10 seconds, your notes combo for every 50 combo, you gain a 35% boost in score. So that's pretty good. Um, the, the main thing why this life skill cannot be boosted by episode plates is because, well, if your combo goes beyond a certain amount, that means even beyond the 125 boost, which is four times this amount, which is about 200 combo, which is easily gotten to be honest, even at uh, for extreme songs or very hard difficulty, you're getting more than 120% boost in score. So technically, it's a pretty good episode play, especially for long duration songs where the Cho Uta Hime mode is really really far into the song. So yeah, it's a very situational episode play. No special notes attached to the episode plate, so that's kind of a bummer. But, you know, because the main plus point is still usable by everyone in the game, so yeah. Anyways guys, you guys can go ahead and pull your own Nyankuji box. I probably won't do it because I do have 245 tickets on hand right now, uh, alongside with the ones I purchased from the first round of discounted packs. I bought the 10,000 yen pack, that's why I got more tickets right now. Um, and of course, if you actually have been doing the Nyan Kuji missions, you should technically have around 80 tickets, if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, not inclusive of today, which is the 1st of January. By now, maybe you've probably gotten about close to 26, 27 free Nyan Kuji tickets, which is technically almost halfway of clearing the first page. So if you get lucky, you might get the event episode played out without pulling all 200 um, items within the first page itself. Then from there, free to, free to play players, you can decide whether you want to use your rare up star to fully evolve this episode plate, which does feature um, the rest of the divas. I think I see Basara, oh no, it's still the three of them. <laughs> Basara, Shero and Kaname gets the spotlight for 2022. All right, so that's enough of this. Um, yeah, I, let's let's dive into the mission page just to double check on things. So like I mentioned, um, you guys have to clear the... Oh, yeah, so the, the New Year's um, money pack missions can be found here as well. And of course the Nyan Kuji missions, like I mentioned earlier, you should still be doing this. Um, oh, oh, it seems there are new missions now. Oh, it's a good thing I double checked then. Okay, so aside from the three colors that you have to play, which is the yellow series, pink series, and blue series, um, apparently there are more missions now, so they are giving out even more tickets at this point of time. So that's pretty fantastic. So, um, oh, I guess this, a few of them are actually from yesterday. <laughs> Maybe. So, um, so there is a new mission here which requires you to play the event song Glow in the Dark. So I guess it started since yesterday. I didn't realize because I've been playing the event missions, uh, event songs like normal. So I just claimed them as per normal. So I didn't realize that was new. Okay, so anyways, um, basically, yeah, as you can tell from this one, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, should be. Uh, anyway, it says here that I need to clear the main event song glow in the dark three times 
Alright, so today's daily missions that I've not cleared yet is um, I have yet to clear a Star Series song, which is normal um, because, like I said, there is no Star Series song in the event page. I've only been playing the event page so far. Um, and Glow in the Dark, yeah, I just had to clear it one time today. So, strangely enough, it's pretty generous today, but of course, the amount of tickets given is half the amount <laughs> compared to yesterday. Oh well! <laughs> Okay, so let's see what else is there. Oh, let's claim today's daily bonuses. We got 500 singing stones from there. That's pretty nice. All right, so let's dive into the gacha page because there's nothing else to talk about in the mission. Um, okay, let's see. So there's a whole bunch of brand new gacha banners that have appeared on New Year's itself. Uh, if you actually started up the game, you probably notice a whole bunch of other banners introducing new gacha banners. So we're gonna talk about them, and we're gonna help you decide maybe whether which one you want to pull. So you can see this one features old seven-star episode plates. Uh, of course, one from Freya and one from Minmei. So each banner features two divas, Mikumo, and of course Cheryl. Then of course we have Kaname and Basara. So then we have Makina and Lane. We have Ray Ray and Ranka. So we have green team on one banner. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Then of course we have the main featured banner that we are all here for, which is Mikumo. And of course, like I've mentioned before, they are starting out free daily template pools um, from now till um I'm not sure until when, I can't remember how long it is, but you know, um, the information is definitely not here, it's on the main page. Anyways, uh, it will last for how long it should be there. Uh, so if you want to know what my pool was yesterday, my pool yesterday was horrible. It seems like 2021 really, in December at least, is horrible throughout for me, even the last day of the month i did not get anything from my free gacha pool so that's kind of a bummer so let's see how things are for 2022 the first month the first day it's a brand new year it's a brand new day let's see how the luck is for my account the whole month of december has been kind of a bummer although we did pull out a seven star episode plate technically so um not entirely disastrous but still very bad so, okay, we'll let you know, um, or rather I'll let you know roughly um, which episode plate you should be. Oh, there are two banners that are free. Oh no, this is not free. This is not free, but it guarantees 5 star and above, all 10 plates guaranteed. Oh my goodness, what is this gacha banner? And it only lasts till the 3rd of January? Okay guys, with what I just said, this banner is definitely a must pull. So I'm definitely pulling this later. Hmm. But, you know, I don't know. Should we start off with such a good banner? Mikumo's banner is definitely the main featured one today. I mean, this episode, I mean, this gacha does feature old 7 star plates, as you can tell. Um, I think it has all of them, kind of, well, mostly, mostly all of them. And of course, they do feature the New Year costumes as well, the old ones. Hmm, okay, so this is definitely a must pull, in my case, for you guys, you can decide. If you have 500 singing stones on hand, especially for free-to-play players, please pull this one. This is definitely a must to pull. Um, if you can't afford to pull it, um, you have up to the 3rd of January to save up. You you do get free singing stones from the event itself. So hopefully that is enough to top up whatever you're lacking. Um, and you can use the free event gacha tickets to pull Mikumo banner, Mikumo's banner and you know and avoid doing the 300 singing stone discounted pool. But of course Miku, if Mikumo is your waifu, I'm so sorry but you gotta sacrifice one. But this is a deal you shouldn't pass on. It is 10 plates guaranteed 5 star and above. My goodness. Okay, 
Anyways, let's talk about the episode play. I'm dilly dallying. It's New Year's. There's so much to talk about. I'm so excited. So let's talk about Mikumo's brand new episode play first before we do anything else. Alright, so at 4,269 total score, uh, it is not exactly the best 7 star episode play out there, but it is technically kind of the best stat for the current new generation 7 star episode plates. Um, from, from the most recent one, which is Kaname's Mirayon costume um, that has been reappearing now in the other banners, if you, if you guys paid attention to all of them from Kaname's one, which is 4,251 at a plus 25 luck value. Um, so, compared to that, Kaname's episode plate is pretty decent, but Mikumo's takes the cake because at a plus 25 luck value, hers is 4,269. Without the plus 25 luck value, her episode plate comes in at 4,019. But comparing to the old 7 star episode plates, um, Basara's is still the strongest. Uh, so. If you guys are considering to pull the banner for Basara's old episode plate, uh, yeah, why not? And it's and it's literally there, the strongest episode plate for Basara and the strongest seven star episode plate is right there in this banner with Kaname's, which is the lousiest um, seven star episode plate of this current generation of episode plates. So, well. <laughs> You could give it a try, but you know, it's up to you. That is if you have enough singing stones. Like I said, pulling these banners doesn't guarantee you the 7 star episode plates, so be mindful of that. Um, if you're wondering what is the best blue series episode plate compared to Mikomo's current um, episode plate, where is it? So, yeah, the current best blue series episode plate um, belongs to, let's see, um, who does it belong to? Oh, it belongs to Cheryl. So, and, and Cheryl's episode plate is actually in the gacha banners as well. It's, it's with Mikumo, so this, this particular episode plate is the highest blue series 7 star um, episode plate without its plus 25 luck value. It's at 4,100. So it's way higher than uh, Mikumo's current episode plate. So if you're looking to pull 7 star episode plates, be mindful of that. So we have best series blue 7 star episode plate with Cheryl. And of course, best stat episode plate belonging to Basara under Kaname's banner. So two best episode plates within the banners itself. Um, so yeah, really really decide hard on what you want to spend your singing stones on. So that's the thing. Anyway guys, I have to go back um, to the main page first because I forgot to mention something else there. Uh, if you guys actually noticed when we started this video, um, the game actually gave us a brand new background. As you can tell, the background um, kind of shows Mount Fuji with a New Year look with Cheryl, uh, Cherry Blossoms, Cheryl Blossoms, Cherry Blossoms at this side with a New Year setup. So that's pretty nice. Um, the background does last for a certain time period only if you tap the change background icon. Uh, you can see that it lasts only up to the end of the month, which is the 30th of January, um, technically midnight in Japan. So yeah, why not? Take this time period to enjoy the new year with a brand new background and of course as usual with the classic Utame Cross new year background music. Um, so yeah, did I forget anything else? Oh yes, one more thing. Um, so I'm sure you guys have probably noticed some of you who have been playing the event songs already and gotten some of the event episode plates. The current episode plates given from the event itself does not give us background points or Valkyrie points. Instead, they gave us a brand new Uta Macross exclusive costume, um, which belongs to Freya, as you can tell. 
So these are the episode plates you can technically gain from the event itself and of course the episode plate does feature the costume image. So here we go. So hopefully you guys are working hard especially for Freya fans because this costume is given to you free technically through the event episode plates. Work hard, unlock those episode plates, you get a brand new costume for your waifu especially for Freya fans. For us generic um, Utama Cross players, it's a free costume, why not? It's easily gotten as long as you put in enough effort and time. As you can tell, I've already technically can um, unlock the costume fully because I have enough points on hand. Um, I'm just not going to do it yet. <laughs> so yes, okay, enough information. It's time to do the gacha because... Well, that's, that's about it. There's really nothing else to update you guys. So we're going to do this in order as usual. We're going to do the free gacha pools first. We do the single pools. Let's start with Mikomo's banner. No, wait, we should do the daily pool. I'm doing this in the evening session uh, because it's actually past midnight. So, you know, the, the gacha hasn't rotated to this morning session yet. Alright, so let's see how the luck is for the brand new year. Will I get a brand new 7 star episode plate? Or will I be left in the dust again and uh, adding more episode plates to my list of yet to obtain? <laughs> Ooh, costume points for Basara. Crossover costume. So that's pretty nice. What else is there? So let's do the free daily, no, free pool from Mikumo's feature banner before we start the free template pool for today. So let's see, where is the banner? There's just too many banners now. Okay, free pool. I'll be keeping my 10 subscription tickets for the special pass for Makina's 7 star episode plate because I really would like to not spend as much as I can. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, red box. Alright, it didn't evolve. Okay. Alright, we get his New Year episode plate, which is pretty rare as well. I mean, we don't see New Year plates um, as often, aside from New Year's. You know, they do appear on regular days in the rest of the year, but it's just very rare to come by. Alright. Let's see what to do now, what to do now. Alright, let's do the template free pulls. Here we go. So hopefully it'll be better than yesterday. Yesterday is totally horrible. <laughs> Even though there was a load bar. Okay. I closed my eyes for a bit. Was there a load bar? Hmm. It seems like it's horrible today as well. Oh no. Shall we, can we not start the new year with such horrible luck? Give me something nice. Well, technically it is a free pool, so... Uh, maybe I should be grateful that the luck is not in this pool <laughs> and on the featured banners. Hmm. Ooh, costume points. That's nice. Don't see a lot of costume points for that Ray Ray costume. Okay, let's keep going. It's a dot. Alright, so all template pools from the free pool is horrible. Maybe it's meant to be like that. I don't know. Maybe. So I'm just giving it a benefit of doubt. Um, let's do, you know, we have Super Dimension tickets, I gotta clear them, they're gonna expire, um, so why not? <laughs> There's a lot of gacha pools for this video, it is the new year, so it's gonna be a long one. Okay, so guaranteed 5 plate, this is expiring close to the end of the month, so I'm just gonna keep it around. 3rd of January? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the whole bunch of them is going to expire soon, so let's just pull a template. Oh, very quick load right there. One, two, three, four, five. So we get the full Valkyrie animation with no golden orb. Ooh, rainbow box off the bat. Three red boxes, that's not too bad. So there's a chance of the red boxes evolving. But you know, it's always nice to see a rainbow box evolve. Ooh. No evolution 
Oh, Min Mei's wedding dress. Nice. Do I have this? I don't think I do. Hmm. First red box, no evolution. Okay. Some frontier love. Ooh, more Ranka love. Second red box, no evolution as well. Okay. Let's keep going. Ooh, Makina's approving this. Okay, if you say so. I'm not too bad. Ooh! It seems like Min Mei's plate is new for me. That's nice. Okay. So we do get an evolution. Oh, what? Oh, I have not unlocked this costume for Ranka? Oh! Nice! <laughs> okay! That's not too bad. Progression in the new year. I approve this! That's pretty fantastic. Okay, let's see. What else can we do? Alright, so just gonna double check the tickets expiration just in case. When is the next one gonna expire? 6th of January? Alright, maybe we'll leave it for Makinas Gacha. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do Mikumo's Oh wait, where's my tickets? Have I not claimed them yet? Oops. <laughs> I apologize for the dragging of this video. I'm very unprepared apparently. <laughs> okay. Um let's claim the tickets. I thought I've already claimed them. Oh well. Oh they gave us 300 singing stones too. Dang. That's nice. Oh, maybe I can actually do Mikumo's discounted pool as well. Since they gave us 300 Zing Stones. But, you know. I don't know. Okay. Let's do this. So, 300 Zing Stones. So, yeah, I guess free to play players, you just need 200 Zing Stones to get this uh, pool done. You know, they will guarantee 5 star and above all 10 plates pool. Yeah, that's pretty generous of Dana. Wow. Okay. Um, let's do the 10 tickets pool first from the event gacha tickets. Before we step into the step up gacha. Since we have the singing stones for it, the step up gacha is definitely the way to go. Unless we get Nikumo's plate from the first pool. Oh, five Valkyries. Here comes the New Year's luck. One red box on the first bling. Rainbow box. Okay, will it evolve? That's the problem. Oh, Mikumo love right there. That's nice. I don't have that. Okay. <laughs> Everyone else is looking angry. <laughs> Especially me, Raj. Uh, <laughs> what is this ominous setup of episode play images? Okay. Where is the rainbow box? Leaving the best for the last? Oh, it didn't evolve! Oh, That's nice! Kumo Kumo's New Year episode plate. Okay. Do I have this? I think I don't. Oh, both of them are new for me. Well, that's really nice. But I'm sure I've unlocked this costume already. I think I did. So, yeah. So, eh, not too bad. You know, at least we're getting new plates that I don't have for my collection. So, I can't be totally bummed out about it. So, that's not too bad. Alright, so let's do the 10 plate gacha pool. Here we go. So, um... Regular pool rate at a discounted price. So, not expecting too much from this one. But who knows? Alright. A very quick load right there. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it seems like the luck is very consistent today. Okay. Alright. I'm getting one red bull box every gacha pool, apparently. Hmm. It's like the luck for today kind of set at default at this rate. Hmm, a lot of Mikumo love, which is nice. After all, it is a featured banner. Oh, oh! No evolution! Oh, oh! But Ray Ray's episode. This is a good episode play because it comes with a special note. I'm not complaining. When it comes to good episode plates with special notes, getting duplicates is more than welcome. Alright. 
There you go. So in old play, you know, no, no. can't complain. So yeah, like I said, episode plates with special notes on them. Make sure you get them memorized. Yeah, it's gonna help you out with the event itself. So that's not too bad. So like I said, um, in this game, getting duplicates isn't such a horrible thing. So that's a good way to keep optimistic. Um, you know, even though a lot of gacha games does give duplicates, and sometimes some of these gacha games can be pretty mean, where the duplicates don't do anything. So Dana has done a pretty good job for Macross fans. All right, step two, four star and above with a better chance of the seven star, but you know it's still not enough <laughs> at times. Here we go. Oof. Okay, will we get to see all five Valkyries again? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, Golden Orb this time. Nice. Two red boxes on the first bling. It seems like it's kind of consistent. Hmm. Seems. Oh, here we go. No evolution. Oh, ooh, another good six star episode plate with a special note attached to it. I'm being blessed, kind of. Although it's not the seven star episode plate, but <laughs> the six star plates that are coming out are pretty good. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> right. Not too bad. Okay. A bit of Mirage love right there. There we go. Alright, so a bit of progression on the um, not so rare episode plates. Alright, so like I said, Freya's plate is fantastic as well, just like Ray Ray. Alright, let's move on. Hmm. Will we get the episode plate? I don't know. I have a feeling we might not, maybe, I don't know. Seriously, I have no idea, but it would be nice if I could get it, so at least I can do the special um, featured video for you guys on my channel. Hmm, let's see how lucky I can be. So this is a guaranteed 5 star and above. Ooh, what's with that load bar? It's stuck! Oh my goodness, it's making me very nervous. Okay, is there definitely guaranteed a rainbow box? What's with the Valkyrie mission? Okay, so one Valkyrie with a golden orb, very ominous. There is the guaranteed rainbow box. One only. What is this? What is going on? There's no red boxes given. Oh dear lord. This is not right. This is a very ominous situation. Ooh. I see a lot of Mirage though, so I gotta be thankful for that. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Oh. It's not a good episode plate. Definitely not a good episode plate. It's a very old Cheryl plate. So. Yeah, it's a flop. A very bad flop. <laughs> oh well. We're looking at the Valkyrie animations at the start. It's kind of obvious that it might be a flop, even though it was a guaranteed 5 star episode plate. Oh dear lord. Hopefully this doesn't happen to you guys, but you know, it has to happen some way or another, sometime or another. Alright, so the last step up gacha pool, um, just gonna go with it. Let's do this. Okay. No load bar, so that's kind of nerve wracking. Oh no, seems like the luck has reverted back to its average pool. Status, uh, two red boxes. Okay, it's kind of expected. Here we go. Oh, seems like this box is evolving, but how far will it go? Uh, that's it. Alright, at least we get Mikumo's plate fully evolved for this year. That's not too bad. What about this one? No evolution? Okay. 
We've been seeing a lot of these Mikumo episode plays today. There we go, fully evolved. Alright! So, at least we progress on an episode play we have, or rather I have not gotten before, so... Okay. That's not too bad. Can't be too complacent. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a discounted pool because I can. Um, then I'm gonna do the um, guaranteed five star episode plate pool. But first, let's give one last chance to Kumo Kumo. Come on home. Oh, very very quick load. That's not a good thing. There you go. Okay, we get our 5 Valkyrie animations, so I guess the luck is slowly returning. Rainbow box on the first bling. Lots of red boxes tagging along. Oh, what the? Oh, no! Stop giving me this horrible Cheryl Gnome episode plate. I'm sorry, Cheryl fans, but old episode plates like this need to be condemned. <laughs> they don't do much anymore. Okay, except give costume points, so it's not even worth to Kira fight it. Okay, here we go. Uh, don't see a lot of this Mikumo plate, so I'm okay with it. Last red box. No evolution. Mirage love. That's fine. Alright. Okay. So that's it for my Mikumo chance. I'm gonna do the last pool, which is the guaranteed template, five star and above gacha pool. Let's end it with a bang for the new year. So hopefully, maybe we might get a six star, seven star episode plate from that pool. Who knows? Maybe even better seven star episode plates might appear from this rather than Mikumo's featured plate. So let's hope for the best. Here we go. Ooh, that's a very slow load bar compared to all the ones that we've seen so far. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. No golden orb. Okay, that's fine. There we go. All of them are gonna turn rainbow. Ooh! It's a pretty old plate. Not that fantastic, but still, don't see very frequently. Okay, we've seen this quite often nowadays, at, at least from my account. Oh, I don't see this very often, so that's not too bad. Okay, I think I'm gonna have this evolve. Is this gonna evolve? Oh, it evolved! Can we go up further? Oh, it didn't evolve further. That's kind of a bummer. Min Mei's New Year costume? That's not too bad. No evolution. Oh, I don't see this very often. But it's a pretty old episode play as well, so that's kind of a bummer. Hmm. Pretty rare Melane play as well. Uh, I think I don't have this though. Oh. Kumo Kumo's um, <laughs> Bakuhatsu on costume. That's not too bad. Ooh. I don't see this very often as well. If I remember, this episode play was actually pretty good. Here we go. Will it evolve one more time? Oh. Oh! If I'm not wrong, I don't have this. Or oh, was it uh, Rankas that I don't have? I don't have most of them! <laughs> okay. So, that's very big progression for the new year. I'm not too bummed out considering that a lot of them are new. That's pretty cool. Alright, so that's it guys for all the stuff for new year. Oh wait, there's one more thing that I almost forgot to talk about which is what I forgot to talk about in the last video as well. So we're not going to end it here just yet. <laughs> This video is a very long one. Uh, if you guys have been sticking around all the way until now, thank you. Thank you for watching all the way. The watch time 
matters a lot to all the YouTubers out there. So if you actually watch through the entire thing without skipping, you guys are awesome. We appreciate you a lot. So um, first thing first, let's go into the Nyan Kuji Matsuri tab. Sorry, Nyan Nyan Matsuri tab. Um, we're going to the Nyan Kuji box and we're talking about the price. So I'm sure you noticed this particular ticket aside from the event exclusive episode plate that you can actually pull out. It's called the Memorial Ticket. So um, if you notice, there's five pieces on the first page, then of course the rest of the pages. Uh, only page two has the tickets as well, so you get a total of 10 tickets. Um, page three does have 10 more tickets, that is if you can actually gain more tickets by buying the discounted packs. So a total of, let's see, 5 plus 5, 10, 20, so a total of 20 tickets. So you can get a total of 20 memorial tickets if you purchase the Singing Stone packs. So what are these memorial tickets for? If you go into the kiosk exchange page, you can notice that there's this memorial ticket exchange tab. So if you go in, they feature Red Boss exclusive episode plates in the past that maybe you might have missed out. So as you can tell from the numbers here, I've actually obtained all these episode plates before. So if you missed out on any of these Red Boss exclusive episode plates and if you want to try and get them to a plus 5 luck value to Kira 5, there are some um, older 6 star episode plates from for the Valkyries so for the, those new players out there who have yet to unlock all the Valkyries I think these episode plates are going to help you out especially if you need the Valkyries for Valkyrie operations so if you're wondering which Valkyrie to unlock please go check out my recommended Valkyries for Valkyrie operations video um, I'll leave a you know a link video to at the end of this video for you to click on so it's easier for you to find um, so yeah so guys make sure you try to attain those tickets of course the event rate boss exclusive place require five tickets while the six star tickets for Valkyrie points only require two so think wisely how you want to spend your tickets um, because they are pretty hard to come by um, so with 20 tickets you technically can pull 4 Red Boss exclusive episode plates that is if you're actually going to buy all the discounted packs and gain those tickets and hopefully gain those memorial tickets because they're pretty hard to come by so that's it guys I'm gonna leave it here we have done a lot this video is dragged on long enough anyway guys thank you guys so much as always for the whole of 2021 and if you guys supported me all the way from the beginning of Utah Macross until now and have stayed with me until now you guys are awesome make sure you leave a like on the video especially if you appreciate the content because it lets me know that people still require my videos if not you know i i really don't want to waste too much of my time hoping that my youtube channel will grow further because you know now that i'm out of a job without a full-time job and i'm still searching for a job in the year of 2022 times are hard so you know it'll be nice to have a straightforward answer you know and not try to keep my hopes up you know if i can't make it as a youtuber so it's it's the harsh truth but it is needed to be uh said and to be blunt with because a lot of youtubers out there i think don't really talk about how honest they can be to their um audiences about the struggles of being a youtuber especially at the beginning portion you know once you've hit 1000 subscribers and you start earning ad revenue that kind of stuff then from there maybe it might ease the pain a bit uh, and then you know the influential power comes slightly after that you know that kind of stuff so anyway guys that's it i'm gonna leave you to the rest of the year enjoy the rest of the day once again happy new year and all the best 
for your own Uta Macross Gacha pools. Make sure you decide which ones you're gonna do, especially for free to play players. You guys have a harder time to decide. Then, bye!